now youth in the South South region, have vowed not to support the presidential ambition of Governor Yeson Wiki. Their decision is overworldly described as a striking level of bad governance in River State within the seven years of his administration. Take a listen. The South South Youth Initiative in a media conference in Port Harcourt took a swipe at the current administration of Governor Nelson Wiki. They complained that he has only succeeded in sacrificing the welfare of the state on the altar of partisan politics. The national president of the youth group, Imabe Oscar, read out the opposition during the media conference. He threatened to oppose any event that runs contrary to the development of teaming youths and the generality of the state. We are urging the governor, His Excellency, Chief Yes of Mezo one weekend, to put his presidential ambition on hold until he we can fulfill the promises he made to reverse youth and workers seven years ago. The governor has during his campaign promised to create jobs, empower youth, pay pensions, scholarships, and gratuities as well as bursary to students. But as we speak, none of the promises has been delivered or seen the light of the day. Charity, they say, begins at home. The youths complained that the retirees have been left at the mercy of continuous protests for their rights without any positive response from the government. They threatened to occupy the government house in protest if Governor Wiki forwarded his presidential ambition without fulfilling their demands. Youth of South South Youth Initiative, SSYI, are joining our chapter in River State to say enough is enough. And we will no longer accept any event that runs contrary to the development of our dear dreaming youth and the variety of the states. So all this we have demanded in two months' time. All this, we are demanding the payment of gratuities. We are demanding for the immediate payment of pensions to pensioners. We are demanding 60,000 job opportunities. 60,000. We are not demanding, we are no longer interested in 5,000 job opportunities. And if the government fails, we are going to do a reminder after a month from today. And then the second month, we are going to be ready to occupy government house. We will demonstrate a reverse day and demand for what due us. The youth group are demanding 60,000 job opportunities for reverse people. They issued the government two-month ultimatum to address all concerns. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.